The talks are on again about upgrading the century-old Coney Island boardwalk as the city focuses on resiliency. Tonight, CBS 2's Hannah Klieger explains why these boardwalk propo proposals have some people concerned about how exactly will this money be spent. Most dedicated boardwalkers in Coney Island would argue that the scenic landmark promenade is in dire need of repairs. It is more rickety than it normally is. Sometimes I'm up, but it's very difficult, very dangerous for me. A records request from the New York City Comptroller's Office shows that 31 notices of claim have been filed for injuries sustained on the boardwalk in the past five years. Ida Sanoff is a Coney Island activist. She's concerned that reconstruction plans would include replacing the wood with concrete slabs. Labs, like those in front of her Brighton Beach building. Look, nobody wants to fall, but we have tens of thousands of units of housing here. In Rockaway and Sandy, these concrete slabs lifted up and became multi ton battering rams. According to a recently released proposal from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, resiliency efforts in Coney Island could include elevating the boardwalk from its current height of between 13 and 14 feet to 18 feet. Now, this plan has not yet been finalized, but if it is, we'll only begin in 2030. But in 2021, former mayor Bill de Blasio allocated more than $114 million to begin the first major reconstruction of the boardwalk since its creation and a separate $11.5 million granted for immediate repairs to a particularly deteriorated stretch. But some are wondering whether that work would be obsolete if the whole structure would have to be raised as part of the federal plan. And it cannot be city doing their thing. Uh, state doing their thing and federal doing their thing. Everybody should talk to each other, should cooperate. We should not spend money twice. A spokesperson with the Parks Department says they look forward to providing feedback on the federal report, but anticipate that elements of the plan may take years, if not decades, to be phased in. In Coney Island, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. And the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers plans, the plan also includes 12 proposed floodgates in waterways around New York and New Jersey. And uh, public output will be accepted on the plan until January. That would be input, of course.